name is Dr. Jessica Rose, and I'm a viral immunologist and computational biologist. I've taken it upon myself to become a VAERS analyst to organize the data into comprehensive figures to convey information to the public in both published work and video medium. Safety and efficacy are the cornerstones of the development and administration of biological, bio, biological products meant for human use. Risk is a measure of the probability of an adverse event occurring and the severity of the resultant harm to health of individuals in a defined population. Safety is a judgment of the acceptability of its risk in a specified situation. Efficacy is the probability of benefit to individuals in a defined population from a medical technology. Refer to slide one. This is a bar plot that shows the past 10 years of VAERS data plotted against the total number of adverse event reports for all vaccines for the years 2011 through 2020 and for COVID-associated products only for 2021. The left bar plot represents all adverse event reports, and the right bar plot represents all death adverse event reports. There's an over 1,000% increase in the total number of adverse events for 2021, and we are not done with 2021. This is highly anomalous on both fronts. These increased reporting rates are not due to increased rates in injections and not due to simulated reporting. This has been shown using a comparative analysis of influenza data. The onus is on the public health officials, the FDA, the CDC, and policymakers to answer to these anomalies and acknowledge the clear risk signals emerging from their data and to confront the issue of COVID injectable product use risks that, in my opinion, outweigh any potential benefit associated with these products, especially for children. Slide two. This is a time series plot that shows the total cumulative number of cardiovascular, immunological, and neurological adverse events for 2021 associated with COVID products. When the cumulative absolute counts are normalized to the total number of fully injected individuals in the U.S., we can see that one in 660 individuals are succumbing to and reporting immunological adverse events associated with the COVID products. The underreporting factor is not considered here. Slide three. This is a phylogenetic tree showing the emergence of the alpha and delta variants of COVID-19 COVID over time. The emergence of both of these variants and their subsequent clustering arose in very close temporal proximity to the rollout of the COVID products in Israel. Israel is one of the most injected countries, and it appears from this data that this represents a clear failure of these products to provide protective immunity against emergent variants and to prevent transmission, regardless of how many additional shots administered. And this begs the question as to whether these injection rollouts are driving the emergence of the new variant. There's clear and present danger of the emergence of variants of concern if we continue with these alleged booster shots. Thank you.